Jack, you are so handsome. Man, I love the little I Thank love you. the little salt with the pepper. What do you do? You put a little just for men in there once in a while or what? You know it. You have a line of everything. So I think you need just for big men. And then you have your own little tinter. At seven foot one, this 15-time All-Star has four championship rings, full NBA legend status, and now a brand new documentary about it all on HBO. My mama always used to say, something special about that one. This is you sharing your story. And I love right off the bat, you talk about legacy. People always say, what do you want your legacy to be? What do you want your legacy to be? I want people to say Shaq was a nice guy. That's it. They can say that. That's it. Nothing else matters. It, it doesn't matter how much money he made or how many companies he made or how many championships he made. When you met Shaq with your son, was he nice? As an old lady, when you were walking into a 7-Eleven, did Shaq hold the door for you? When you spoke to Shaq, did he speak back? I played the game, I dominated the game, but my time as the, as the game has been over for 10, 12 years. Just want to be a productive citizen that gives back and, you know, that kids can look up to. So, all my legacy would be, be Shaq was a nice guy. I got to imagine you as a kid. Were you a shy kid because you were, you know, six foot nine at 13 years old? Or were you, like, always this big personality, outsized, you know, Comedian, class clown, what were you? I wasn't really shy. I kept to myself, but because people would talk about my size and my age and my stuttering, I, I became a bully. But then a, a very terrible incident happened and I realized I was much stronger and I could really, really hurt somebody. So I said to myself, okay, how do I get people to, to not look at me as tall all the time? Oh, I'll just become a class clown. So I've always been a medium level juvenile delinquent, AKA class clown. I just like to make people laugh, laughing, relieves a lot of stress. So you took a, you, you almost took somebody out and that scared you? Yes, sir. Just like I almost took you out that one day when you said said those bad things about me. You can't handle me. You can't handle no, you me. Can't you know handle that. Me. You know that. I'm so quick. I get you underneath you me. like that. You whoo, <laughs> whoo. It's like reaching for a lamp in the dark. Whoo, you can't find me. Yeah. I'm just whoo, right underneath you. If you had not gone into basketball, what would you have done? I'd be, I'd be doing what you'd be doing, and you wouldn't have a job. <laughs> extra, extra featuring Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, that's what I'd be doing. I'd be doing it all. Or it could be Billy and Shaq, or Shaq and Billy. I like that. I'll give you, you top billing. Know. Okay, cool. No, no. You could have top billing, because you have a, a, a lot more energy than I do. But come February, he's going to be hosting Shaq's Funhouse, the Super Bowl's blowout bag. The big fella does it right. For like 250 bucks, it's cocktails, open bar all night, Snoop on stage. You're flying in fans. This is as big as you've ever done it, and you're big. Yeah, I like to, uh, you know, thank, thank uh, Nespin and Takis, uh, my, my major sponsors. Listen, we're going to Phoenix. I'm known as the Big Cactus in Phoenix. This is the uh, fifth Shacks One House. We're going to have a great time. Since you would have been a better host than me of Extra, take us to commercial break, please. Hello, this is Shaquille O'Neal. I'm chilling with my main man, Billy Bush. And you know the song. I want you to sing it with me. Extra, extra. We'll be back soon. 